Trust your first impression. What do you see in your mind's eye? I feel like I'm looking at a a lake or a body of water that's all dried up. Mm -hmm. So describe this body of water and the surroundings. What does it look like? Mm -hmm. It's like I'm looking at a kind of a like a hole in the ground. It, there's I can tell that there used to be water there. Mm -hmm. There's like a little bit of water left, but it's dried up now. How does that make you feel looking at this? Sad. Mm -hmm. Let's find out why. What is this place? Connect with it. Allow yourself now to go to the memories of what this place is. Just your impression. What is this place? It's home. Mm hmm. Tell me more. Mm. Tell me about home. Allow the images to come. Describe everything that you see and feel. I was very connected to this place. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I just keep seeing this... this... hole with... just... There's not... there's no more water left. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering why, why? So I'd like for you to close the scene. Close the scene and go back in time to where there was water there. Be there now. Adjust to this new scene and tell me what you see. Where are you? I feel like I'm at the same place, mm -hmm. but I can see the water. Mm -hmm. It's sparkling, and it's lush and green, and... Look around you. What's around this body of water? What do you see? What's surrounding this water? What's so green? Is this green on the ground? Is it in the, in the sides of it? What does it look like? It's on the ground. Mm. I can't tell if it's grass mm. or if it's... It's like it would be grass here, but it's... Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that it's grass. So let's take a closer look. I'd like for you to get closer to this green and tell me what it is. What is this green? What does it look like to you? Get closer and closer. You'll know what it is. It's like the equivalent of what grass would be here, but I don't know what it's mm -hmm. called. What's it made out of? Mm. Is it flexible? Is it stiff? What does it look like? What's the texture of it? I want to say that it's solid, but mm -hmm. I... So as you're looking at this surrounding, I'd like for you to focus on the observer, the one who is looking at this beautiful water and the green. I'd like for you to focus on yourself and see if you have a body there. Are you physical in this location? I feel like I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Tell me more. Take a look at your body. Look down and see if something is touching the ground. I feel like I have legs and feet, mm -hmm. yes. What do they look like? The first thing I get it is pink. Mm -hmm. Pink. Pink. But I look... I feel like I look humani humanoid, mm -hmm. at least. That's okay. I don't want you to do any judging. I just want you to tell me what you see and experience. <clears throat> Take a look at your body and tell me if you have any type of garments on. I feel like it's a blue robe. A blue robe. Very good. How long is this robe? It reaches the floor. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're male or female there? I feel female. Mm -hmm. What does your face, your features look like? Mm. I, I feel like I, I feel like I have long hair. Mm -hmm. What color is this hair? I want to say blonde. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Mm, I feel like I have blue eyes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is there anything else that stands out about your features or perhaps any type of uh, adornment on your body? I want to say that I have, I don't know if it's a crown or mm -hmm. some kind of headpiece. Mm -hmm. What does it feel like? The word priestess comes up. All right. Very good. So now that we've established that you are this priestess in this place, do you hear a name of what you are called? No. No. Very good. So let's find out what it is about this place, this beautiful water, body of water. What is this place to you? I hear the word home. Mm hmm Do you live in this place? Yes. Mm hmm So let's find out more. We're going to close the scene and go to an event in that lifetime that made an impact for you. Be there now. Where are you? Allow the images to flow. Look around you. What do you sense? I feel like there's, I don't know if I'm under a tree or by a tree. Mm -hmm. What's happening? I don't see anything that's mm -hmm. happening. So I'd like for you to connect with that tree. Use your telepathic abilities and connect. And let's find out the importance of you being under this tree. I hear it telling me dying. It's dying. dying. Mm -hmm. Are you responsible for this tree dying? No. No. What do you get from this? This. I hear home is dying. Home is dying. Let's find out. What's making your home die? Are you alone in this place? Or are there others there? I 
I feel like there are others, but they're not here. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's find out who the others are. I'd like for you to close this scene and now go to a time in that lifetime when you are with the others in your home. Let's see who they are. What do you sense? Use all of your senses. I almost feel like we're we're celebrating mm -hmm. or we're I can feel everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're, hmm, we're telepathic. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what the occasion is of this celebration. What are you celebrating? I, I just get that we're, we're happy. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. We're just happy. Mm -hmm. How many do you feel around you? I don't get a number. I just, I, I, I get family. 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 Very good. Is this family in this home with you? What do you sense? Yeah, we're here. We're here. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you now to see what it is that you do as the role of a priestess in this place. Close this scene and now let's move forward to a time when you are playing the role of this priestess. What do you do? I talk to the plants mm -hmm. and the trees, to every part of nature. Mm -hmm. What do you tell them? We're communicating. Mm -hmm. What do they tell you? Wisdom. Mm -hmm. I get wisdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you get wisdom from them or do you give them wisdom? Both. Mm -hmm. So it's a give and take. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. How does it feel? It feels good. Very good. So what wisdom would like they like to give you today? I'd like for you to tap in to the one that has a message for you. What do you hear? I hear the word connect. Mm -hmm. Connect. Connect. Very good. So as you connect, let's find out what's going on with your home. I'd like for you now to close this scene and accelerate yourself to the part in that lifetime when your home began to die. Let's find the cause. What's happening? I'm not sure, but I feel sad. Mm -hmm. I feel like crying. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to flow with the emotion. You'll understand why. With the tears, you'll get the answer. It'll flow to you. 
what's happening to your home. I get the word destroyed? Mm -hmm. Destroyed. Who has destroyed your home? I hear we haven't been good to it. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. What has happened to your home? We thought we were doing something good, but we mm -hmm. weren't doing it wasn't it wasn't good <laughs> all right, so I'd like for you to see yourself doing what it is that you thought was good. What has happened? I feel like I'm manipulating nature mm -hmm. manipulating. Something with nature. Mm -hmm. And something went wrong. Something. We, m we threw off the balance. Mm -hmm. Is this your sole responsibility? Or did others help? Check in with yourself. I keep getting yes. Yes, it, it was my fault. Mm -hmm. Let's find out why you wanted to manipulate nature. What was your intention? I feel like I was helping. I was. I thought I was helping it grow or help it. I was, my intention was to help it, and it, I, I didn't help. Mm -hmm. So let's continue. Let's move forward in time. The next important event in that lifetime. What happens? What do you experience? feel like there are like like storms mm -hmm. uh, um, like the balance it I did something to knock it out of balance mm -hmm. and it's there's storms I feel like there's I feel like there's lightning or something that's close to lightning, maybe not quite lightning, mm -hmm. and some energy. What is this energy storm doing to nature? How does it affect it? You'll feel it. You'll know it. What's happened? <clears throat> I keep seeing like gray, gray skies and 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 lightning and like I I just like I I upset I upset some kind of balance somehow. So follow it through and let's see what happens. Accelerate the pace of what you're seeing. <clears throat> see what happens. See it and fast forward. What's happening to nature? It's dying. Mm -hmm. What does it do to you? I feel like I become not only sad, but I be like I, I'm. I become sick as well. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. 
Tell me where you are. I feel like I'm laying next to the the lake that's dried up. Mm -hmm. And as you take your last breath there, what's going through your mind? I'm sorry. It wasn't my intention to do this. All right. So allow yourself to take your last breath. Release yourself from that body. And tell me what happens. Where does your spirit go? I feel like I'm kind of in a void. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens in that void. What do you do there? I'm kind of wondering what happened. Mm -hmm. Are you contemplating about what your last life was like? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What Very did I do? Uh huh. So let's close that scene, allow that void to be behind you, and now let's go to the next scene. What happens after you leave that void? Where do you go? I get that I keep hearing born, born, I was born. Okay. So let's find out a little bit about this birth. Allow yourself to acclimate into that body. What do you sense? Mm. I feel myself crying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell me more. It's all kind of fuzzy. I hear my I hear myself crying. I'm upset. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you telling yourself? Oh, almost, almost kind of like something, like this again. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Do you feel that you're male or female in that body? What do you feel? I want to say female. Mm -hmm. So let's look around and see where it is that you're born. What's the first impression that you get from this place? It's, it's almost like it's it's dark inside, but it's like candlelight, mm -hmm. and it's, but it's dark, and it's kind of like... Uh, uh, I keep hearing, like, I keep hearing 1800s or mm -hmm. something along those lines. Very uh -huh. dark, but it's, uh, it's... I see candlelight. Mm -hmm. So let's find out if you're alone where you are, or there's others around you. Feel yourself connecting with that body. Is there someone with you? What do you sense? I feel like there are other people in the room. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to say three. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to identify who they are? Do they feel like to you? Who are these in the room? I feel like there's... My mother is there. Mm -hmm. My father is there. And maybe like a, a midwife? Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you to connect now with those in the room and tell me what feeling do you feel from them? 
What emotions do you feel connected to these others? I feel content. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. So let's find out a little bit more about you. I'd like for you to close this scene and let's move forward in that lifetime, that same lifetime, until you're a little older and something important is happening. Be there now. Where are you? I'm not sure I am, but I feel like I'm like a toddler age mm -hmm. almost. And as you're a toddler now, you will be able to know your gender. What do you feel? Oh, I feel like a boy. Mm -hmm. What's happening there as you're in the scene? What's the importance of it? Who's with you? I don't really sense anybody around me. Mm -hmm. So look around you. Where are you? I feel like I'm out in nature, though. Mm -hmm. What do you feel like when you're in nature? Feels good. Mm -hmm. Good. Let's find out if there's anything important from this scene. Continue the scene and see what happens next. I feel like I fall. <coughs> mm -hmm. What do you fall? Mm. What happens to you? I feel like I'm crying, but I can't tell if there's anybody around. I don't think there's anybody around. What does your body feel since you've fallen? What's happened to your body? I want to say something with my knee. Mm -hmm. Either I just scraped my knee or... Okay. Very good. So... Is there anything else important from this scene? No, I don't think so. All right, so let's close that scene and let's move forward. Let's go to a time when you're with your family having a meal. Be there now. I feel a little bit older. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? Uh... About ten. Mm -hmm. Look down and see what it is you're eating. What do you see? I feel like it's some kind of meat, mm -hmm. but also there's peas or some kind of vegetable there. Mm -hmm. um, and why are you having this meal? I feel like we're at a table. Mm -hmm. So look around the table. Who's there with you? I feel like there's my mom and my dad, but there's uh, also another baby there. Mm -hmm. Baby sister. Mm -hmm. Now the eyes are the window to the soul. Look at your mom and dad's eyes and see if you recognize these eyes. <clears throat> are they familiar to you? I don't feel like they are. Okay. That's okay. How do you feel in this family? Hmm. I feel like they like the baby more than they like mm -hmm. me. <laughs> okay, very good. So let's close this scene now and let's move forward to where you're older and something important is happening. Something that's impacting your life. Be there now.
Where are you? I feel like I'm a... Like a young man. Mm -hmm. Are you indoors or outdoors? Let's say outdoors. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel? I feel like I'm 22. Mm -hmm. What is this place where we are? I think it might be the same place that I was, that I like to come to when I was little. Mm -hmm. Just outdoors. So describe it for me. What do you see? Mm. Mm. It's almost like a, a forest. Mm -hmm. Lots of trees, lots of plants, and just a nice place to be outside. Mm -hmm. Is there anything happening in this forest while you're there? I don't feel like there is. Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself? Yeah, I feel alone. All right. So let's close that scene and let's move forward now to another event in that lifetime that impacts you. Be there now. Where are you? Are you indoors or outdoors? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know. <clears throat> so close the scene and go to the last day of your life. Go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. And tell me where you are. What do you sense? I feel old. Mm -hmm. But... Are I you... feel like I'm still out, outside. Still outside? <laughs> like I... Like in my favorite spot. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody with you? I don't feel like there is. All right, so let's find out what happens. How does your life end? Be at that moment. What happens? Take your last breath. Check in with your body and see if there's anything happening in your body. I just feel old. All right. So allow yourself to disconnect from that body, releasing it. And as you look at this lifetime, what was the purpose of that lifetime? The word I get is solitude. Solitude. Mm -hmm. You spent your life in solitude? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you learn any lessons from that? Like what it's like to be alone and mm -hmm. to be on your own and just, just be. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that was a successful life? Yeah. Good. That was nice. So I'd like for you to continue on your journey, and I'd like for you now to go to the ones that welcome you back. Allow the spirit to continue, and tell me what you see along the way. I 
I see bright colors. Mm -hmm. What colors do you see? Mm -hmm. All different colors, almost like almost like a tie dye, mm -hmm. but all different colors. What else do you see? Where are these colors? Hmm. I'm not sure. It's it's Are you in the colors around the colors? Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to just flow. The more you talk, the more you'll see. I feel like I'm in the colors. Mm -hmm. Do you associate yourself with a color? No, I like them all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have a color? Mm, I feel like I'm all of them. Mm -hmm. Like it's all, they're kind of flowing through me, I feel. Wonderful. Do these colors feel different to you? Different colors feel like different things. Mm -hmm. Or different emotions, or just different. Mm -hmm. They have different feelings to them. Are there any that you like more than others? I like blue. Mm -hmm. What is the significance of blue? How does it make you feel? It makes me feel happy. Mm -hmm. Very good. So continue within that blue and let's find out where you go to. What happens as you continue to float through the colors? What happens next? What do you experience? The only word I get is serious. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what that means. Tell me about that. What was your association with that word, serious? I feel like... Mm, I feel like there's a lot there. There's... I feel like it was... Almost like another life. Mm -hmm. This blue is like I feel. This blue is like calling me towards that that life All or right. something. So keep following it. Allow the blue to flow you to that life, and allow the images to come. And tell me what you see. What do you experience? It feels very... almost fluid, but watery mm -hmm. to me here. Mm -hmm. I don't get any... I don't really get any pictures. It's just feelings of fluidity, mm -hmm. um, watery. So allow yourself to flow with that blue. Flow with it. Where do you imagine that this blue is? I almost feel myself swimming very, very mm -hmm. um, fluidly, like I'm very. I'm a, I feel like I'm a great swimmer. Mm -hmm. So as you swim through this blue, fluidy place, do you feel that you have a physical body that's swimming? I do feel like I'm physical. Mm -hmm. But... What do you imagine your body mm. looks like? I 
Trust your first impression. I feel like if I look down, there's... I have feet, but they're kind of... They kind of have flip... Like I, It's like they're flippers, but mm-hmm. they're... I have like webbed feet. I think that's what mm-hmm. you would kind of see it as. Are these feet together or are they separate? They're separate. Mm-hmm. But I have like webbing in between my toes, I want to say. Mm-hmm. How many toes do you see? Four. Mm-hmm. And what color is your body? I want to say it's like blue, but with green. Mm-hmm. And I'm kind of, I want to say, kind of iridescent. Mm -hmm. Sparkly. Let's find out what the rest of you looks like. What do you see besides the feet? Look up a little bit more. If I look at my hands, I feel like I have webbing in between my Mm -hmm. my fingers. How many fingers do you see? I, I see... Three fingers and a thumb, mm-hmm. a thumb-like appendage. Mm-hmm. So let's take a, take a look at your body. What kind of a body do you have? I feel like I'm very, I'm very slender, and I have almost like markings. I want to describe it like kind of like a giraffe has markings Mm -hmm. but they're it's not I don't have markings all over it's in certain areas like maybe on my shoulders Mm -hmm. I have these markings and then in other certain areas I can't see them what color are these markings they're like a darker blue Mm -hmm. and I'm I'm like a, they're like maybe like a navy blue, and I'm a, a lighter, uh, a lighter aqua bluish mm-hmm. with green, in, in in my skin. Beautiful. What does your body look like? What shape is your body in as you're swimming? I feel like I can move in ways that you can't hear in human in human form. Mm-hmm. Almost like I could contort myself into almost like a circle. Mm-hmm. I feel very, very free and very <laughs> very unrestricted here. Mm-hmm. Do you feel that you have a gender? I don't feel like I have a gender. Mm -hmm. Good. What does your face look like? Hmm. Hmm. I feel like I have those those markings almost like they would be freckles on my face. Mm -hmm. And on my cheeks. I feel like I I look feminine, but I don't feel like I have a gender, Mm -hmm. like almost androgynous. Mm -hmm. Do you have a fine features? I don't feel like I do. I feel like... What kind of features do you see? I feel like I have little black eyes. Mm-hmm. Little mm. black eyes. What else? I want to say... I don't feel like I have hair. I feel like it's just... Just my, my head. That's mm-hmm. just how I am. But I feel like I... Oh. Okay. I feel like I have... Like where my ears are. Or my where my ears would be like they're kind of like little, f- not fins, but uh, I don't know how to describe this. 
almost like little fins where my ears would be, uh-huh. <laughs> kind of. Uh-huh. But I, and I have gills under where, uh, on my neck. Mm-hmm. Gills on your neck? Underneath where my, where my ears would be if I was human. Mm-hmm. What about your mouth? Do you eat? Do you have a mouth? I do have a mouth. Mm-hmm. What is it shaped like? small. I mm. feel like it's small. Mm-hmm. But I don't, I couldn't, mm, I don't know. I'm not sure if I eat anything. I don't mm-hmm. feel like I do. Okay. So let's see a little bit more about you and your living environment. I'd like for you now to continue on your journey and let's see where it is that you live. Allow yourself now to drift and float and swim to the place where you live. Tell me everything you see along the way. (laughs) I almost feel like, I feel like where I live is underwater. Mm-hmm. I feel like I, I almost want to call them galactic mermaids. Mm-hmm. Do you mm. see others like you? Yeah, I sense them. Mm-hmm. I sense that there are others in this. It's it's kind of like a little village. I see like little lights on, mm-hmm. and I sense them, but I don't see them. So, what is your role in this community? What do you do there? Mm, energy. Mm-hmm. Tell me about that. Mm. What do you do with energy? I, I feel like... I feel like I'm... An energy master mm-hmm. of sorts. I, All right. that's, that's the words that comes to my come to my head. Okay. So I'd like for you to see yourself now doing what it is that you do as an energy master. What do you use? My focus. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you now to see yourself focusing on a task at hand. What do you do? Since I'm telepathic, I use I use all my mental abilities. Mm-hmm. I focus everything, my energy, all of I use my thoughts, but I also use emotions. Mm-hmm. What emotion are you bringing up in this case? joy. Mm -hmm. So bring up that emotion now and tell me what it is that you're doing with this joy and focus. What is the intention? I feel like it has something to do with almost like Protecting mm-hmm. my, uh, like protecting my people mm-hmm. almost, but with joy. Uh huh. <laughs> it's good. like it's a natural. Uh, it's a it's a frequency. Mm-hmm. The frequency of joy. Yeah. Uh huh. Is there anything that you need protection from? I don't feel that there is, it's just, um, I don't know if it's in my practice or if it's, if I'm, how do you say, if I'm just taking precautions. Mm Mm-hmm. All right. So let's close the scene now and let's move forward in time and space 
in that same lifetime when something important is happening. Be there now. Where are you? I feel like... I feel like someone is calling on me to... to work with energy in some kind of way. Mm -hmm. Let's find out who's calling on you. Um, I'm gonna say he's like I feel like it's an elder or mm -hmm. uh, um, like a leader or an elder something mm -hmm. like that um, and I uh, they're calling on me to do something to um, I can't I'm not sure what though. All right, so accelerate that scene and see yourself before this elder or leader. And let's find out what this task is all about. Why have you been called? Mm, the word protection comes up. Mm -hmm. Protection. What is the reason why you need protection? What's happened? Um, I I keep I keep hearing the word invasion All or right. invaded or All right. Let's follow that. Let's follow that and see what this invasion is all about. What's happened? You connect telepathically, so I'd like for you to see in your mind's eye who the invaders are. Who are they? What do they look like? Hmm. <laughs> the, the first thing that I get is, is reptilian, of mm -hmm. course. I don't know. So, allow yourself now to connect with this leader. And let's see why you are needed. What do you need to do? Says he wants me to put up some kind of shield mm -hmm. that I've been practicing this. I know how to do this, and that, uh, that we have to do this before they get here, before they attack us or mm -hmm. invade us. All right. So what happens next? What do you do? I feel like I see myself in I, I see myself concentrating and focusing and going back to use that method that I was practicing before using joy mm -hmm. and what happens how big is this shield
I feel like I feel like I was I feel like I was at least trying to make it as big as our entire civilization mm -hmm. but I'm not sure that I was able to what happens I want to say that hmm. I want to say that we were invaded. All right. So what happens to you? What happens to your spirit? I feel like I was killed. All right. So allow yourself to detach from that civilization, leaving it behind. What was the purpose of that lifetime? What did the soul need to learn there? Mm, I feel like I was mastering my craft. Mm -hmm. I was mastering energy and, and focus. Mm -hmm. And how is this lifetime affecting the lifetime of Angelica? I couldn't quite do it in that lifetime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when Angelica came into this lifetime, did she bring with her those gifts? Mm -hmm. All right. Where is she storing those gifts? Mm -hmm. Where does she keep them? Keeps them in her hands. <laughs> mm -hmm. So why is it that she's so afraid of using this gift? Why does she doubt herself? Partly because of what I went through. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. So why is it that she needs to carry this burden into this lifetime? I don't need to. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. So what is the reason she came into this lifetime? Master Healer. Mm -hmm. Master Healer. So again, working with the energy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how can she use this modality? To help her, to help others? <clears throat> She's already taken Reiki. She seems to have already had the power in her hands. What is keeping her? from going mm -hmm. full force with it. Self-doubt. Mm -hmm. Lack of confidence. Where is this self-doubt coming from? Where did it start? Mm, it started in her childhood. All right. So let's find out where this seed was planted. I mean... I'm in the womb. Uh -huh. My mom's saying, I don't know if I can do this. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can do this. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I don't know if I can do this. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can do this. Keep going back. Let's find out the reason. Why can't you do this? Let's find out. I feel like it goes back to that life. Uh huh. Keep going. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I could do this. Who are you talking to? Myself. Mm -hmm. What have you been asked to do? I've been asked to protect. Mm -hmm. Protect our civilization. And I 
I couldn't do this. I wasn't sure if I could do this. Mm -hmm. Did you set yourself up for failure? I think I did. All right. Why did you set yourself up for failure? It was how I was talking to myself. Mm -hmm. But I was... I was more than capable of doing it. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what scared you. What scared you? Basically, the weight of the world mm -hmm. was on my shoulders. Get and I... I feel like I just doubted. You gave up, didn't you? Yeah. Can you forgive yourself for that? Yeah. Yeah, I can. I can. All right, I'm going to put my hand over your chest. I want you to give it all to me. Pull it all out. That doubting yourself. The thinking you're not strong enough not skilled enough, not powerful enough, not enough. Pull all that, I don't think I'm good enough, out. You don't need that any longer. Pull it all out from this lifetime, from that lifetime. Allow yourself that forgiveness of not knowing any better, sabotaging yourself then and now. Pull it all out and tell me when I have it. Let's take it and send it to the universe for healing. And now, what will we like to put in its place? Knowing, knowingness, knowingness of my power, my beingness, mm -hmm. confidence. Let's put in confidence. Allow that confidence to begin to flow. Feel it going into your heart, into your soul. With every beat of your heart, feel that confidence making you stronger and stronger, mm -hmm. knowing that you can. Mm -hmm. I know I can. I know I can. I know I can. I know I can. Keep saying it over and over again. Make I it bigger. Make it. Make it bigger. I know I can. I know I can. Very good. I know I can. Allow it to go through every cell, every bit of DNA. And let's begin to reprogram it now, using that energy of joy, of knowing that you can. I know I can. Bring that joy up. Bring mm. that energy up. <laughs> and I'd like for you to take your hands mm. with that selenite and put it on your solar plexus and feel mm. that energy in your solar plexus healing, healing yourself with your energy. That's right. Very good. I'm going to tap your forehead and feel the changes in your solar plexus. What do you feel? <sighs> Accept the gift. Accept your gift. Know that it is yours. It's your birthright. You have the skills, you have the power. You know you can. Mm -hmm. Every experience that you go through mm -hmm. is a learning experience. Mm -hmm. And now you can tap in and use the power that is yours. The power of joy and focus. Mm -hmm to do anything you wish in life but you've been afraid to focus mm -hmm. you've been afraid to remember now let's use that focus once again to begin to heal yourself feel as those hands bring in that energy mm -hmm. And let's begin to empower every cell of your body. Let's find out why it is 
that Angelica stopped focusing, stopped remembering. Why is it that she shut herself off? So much pain. Mm -hmm. She didn't want to be here. She didn't understand. What is the reason she is here now? Why is her skill needed? <clears throat> she knows she's powerful. She just <laughs> she, she's been afraid to accept it. Mm -hmm. Why has she been called on this mission? It's her, it's her energy, it's her frequency, it's what she, mm -hmm. what she gives to people when she, not even knowing it, mm -hmm. the healing, when, the, the healing that she does when she, she's not even healing, mm -hmm. she's already healing people just by being around them. Constantly, she constantly feels everything, everything that everybody's going through. So, how can she use this now to move forward in her life <clears throat> to where she doesn't feel like she needs to go home? She's been shifting this a mm -hmm. lot. She. was the lack of confidence mm -hmm. and the lack of she felt like she wasn't giving anything to the world mm -hmm. and when she steps into that I mean, when she starts stepping into it more and more mm -hmm. she will be <laughs> she will be so happy here she Very won't want to leave <laughs> wonderful so when she starts using her power, mm. she tells me she wants to visit, for example, the sacred sites. Mm. Yeah. Why is she being drawn to these sites? These places have certain certain frequencies that mm -hmm. when we are there in person, we we receive codes or upgrades that help us to either remember or heal or accelerate us on our journey or even to repair DNA that has been lost or fragmented. Mm -hmm. She's feeling that call. Mm -hmm. When will this happen? Is this soon or in the future? <clears throat> she's gonna start soon mm -hmm. but I feel like it's gonna be within the next year and a year's time or okay. so will she be doing this alone or with others both mm -hmm. is she meant to connect with other healers or is she doing this on her own she is meant to do connect with other healers okay as they activate her okay good and that's what is that was had has been happening mm -hmm. when she's been dealing with these people yeah if she takes a class or she connects with somebody that is also healing she's mm -hmm. healing from them too she's act being activated from them too good good now she tells me that recently she started channeling. She could feel the energy. She wanted to f have it flow through her, but she was holding too much resistance to allow mm. it to happen. Would you tell her what happened? This. She wants to channel. Mm hmm. But she was holding too much resistance, so we had to show her. We had to 
show her how much resistance she was holding and send her on a on the journey to release mm -hmm. release it so that she can do that so what is the best way for her in the future to allow these messages to come through she will find as has she releases more and more resistance it's just going to be a lot easier for her to tune in mm -hmm. into these into these higher vibrations because she's holding a lot of a lot of pain a lot of trauma mm -hmm. that are keeping her from breaching that higher levels mm -hmm. now we already saw that she was holding on some trauma from not only the life of this water planet but also from when her home died how is that affecting her? Mm. It seems she misused her power then. She doesn't want to misuse her power. Mm -hmm. So is this traumatic for her, that lifetime in which her beloved nature died? At yeah. her hands? Yeah, she doesn't want to cause the same thing, so she's afraid. Mm -hmm. So has she brought with her that same? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Why is she connected to this? Why does she have to have that with her? It was just one of her lives. But it's there to show her that when you're it's also to show her how powerful our intention is mm -hmm. but also to hmm, to connect also to connect deeper into nature mm -hmm. but not to manipulate it to co-create and in in harmony with it not to manipulate it like she was but she didn't realize that she was has she been doing any of manipulation now no okay she's too afraid uh-huh <laughs> well she wants to be a channel mm. she wants to be a channel channel for this high vibrational information to assist others is this her journey or will she be doing her energy what is the best modality for her? I feel like that's somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. Maybe not quite like she wants, but it's in there. Oh, she wants to uh, be able to speak light language. Hmm. She does. She talks to the animals all the time. Okay. She doesn't think it's light language. Okay, so when she <laughs> speaks with the animals... She has her own variety mm. of light language? Yeah. Okay, good. Will that suffice for her, knowing that she already can communicate with nature just like she did before? She was talking to trees before. She just needs to start connecting back to the nature and start connecting like she was. How much nature time. does she need to be in? More than she is now. Mm -hmm. She feels like she has so many responsibilities that she doesn't always allow herself to go out and connect and just be. Mm -hmm. She puts too much emphasis on it. Um, but when she just goes out and talks to nature, she sees that it responds very, very, very easily. She so just she's, needs to do that more. So she still is that priestess? Mm -hmm. She is. Mm -hmm. Good. Does she have any galactic guides that are working with her at this time? 
Yes, she does. Mm-hmm. Who's working with her? Hmm. Say people that she, the same people that she has been told and felt. Mm-hmm. Pleiadian and there's Lyran. Mm-hmm. So she wants to, she wants to start connecting even more. How can she do that? Being out in nature will help mm -hmm. clear, help her clear enough to be able to. And she's seen that. Mm -hmm. She's seen that when she goes out there, things seem to go, they seem to flow better. Mm -hmm. Or at least just to take the time to just sit there and listen and see what comes through. Kind of like she did in that solitude life. Mm -hmm. Listen. <coughs> mm -hmm. Is that why you were showing her, showing her that? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. But in that lifetime, she lived alone mm -hmm. as this man. Does she need to be alone in this life? No. To find that solitude in nature. She doesn't have to, but it's it's good for her because she because she feels everybody's stuff mm -hmm. all the time so that's there to remind her that she does need that and to take the time to do it when she starts getting too too overwhelmed so whenever she is feeling overwhelmed with every, everybody else's stuff she needs to find solitude in nature yeah does she need to meditate in nature that would be really, really mm -hmm. good for her. So what is the best way that she can find herself meditating in nature? She can just go out in the backyard and do it. Perfect. Very good. Now she tells me that when she was about five or seven, she had a dream about extraterrestrials. They were gray, big eyes, and it scared her. Can we take her back to that moment now and find out what this dream was all about? I'm going to count from five back to one. And when I get to number one, we will be in that dream. Take a deep breath in and five. Going back in time now. Four. Getting younger and younger. Three, allow yourself to drift and float into your dream. Two, almost there. And one, be there now. What's happening? I wake up in this weird, it's, it's a combination of a department store and a ship almost, mm -hmm. because I could see through the ceiling mm -hmm. into, but I see stars. I see like I'm way, way up mm -hmm. in the stars. But it's like a department store, and I I get up out of bed, and I th think I'm awake, and I realize that there are, there's a presence there, and I feel... I feel kind of uneasy because I'm not sure who it is, mm -hmm. but I have this knowing, this, this knowing of if they catch me, they take my brother, but if they catch my brother, they take me. 
and I got scared. And I started to try to run, but all of a sudden my, my foot, my leg is trapped inside the leg of a mannequin for some reason. Mm -hmm. And I can't run. And they, they catch me. What happens next? I woke up crying. Mm -hmm. So let's bring back that moment when you're trapped in the leg of a mannequin. And we're going to go even deeper, deeper into that memory. I want you to go ahead and begin to use your focus. and break through. Allow yourself to see what happened after your leg was trapped. Who's trapping your leg? You feel safe? My voice will go with you. I feel like that was almost like a like a screen memory, like mm -hmm. an illusion that it I was already I was already gone. They had already taken me. Mm -hmm. They had already I was already with them. Mm -hmm. So let's see if you can get through that screen. Go back through time and space. What is it that you need to know? What was the purpose of that visit? Connect with them telepathically. What was the purpose of you going with them? You will know the answer. It's my connection. Mm -hmm. Let's find out if you learned anything or remembered anything from that trip. What was the reason for the connection at that time? Allow the answer to just flow out. Who were the ones? Mm -hmm. It was so when I was ready, it would be my breadcrumb mm -hmm. to open open the door I agreed to this mm -hmm. let's find out if you've been going with them before allow yourself to scan the archives of your memory and let's see if you've contacted them before or after I keep feeling yes mm -hmm. let's find out the purpose what were you doing at these times Allow the images to flow, breaking through the screen of fogginess.
tearing down the screen memories of forgetfulness and diving deep into the files of your subconscious being in the moment of now. What's happening? What is the reason for the connection? I feel like I'm... I almost feel like I'm laying on a table. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I keep getting, I keep hearing like uh, hybridization, hybridization. Mm -hmm. So allow yourself now to know what you agreed to. Connect with them mind to mind. Activate the telepathic connection with them. Yeah, we had a contract. Mm -hmm. What was the contract based on? That I want to say I would help them and they would help me. Mm -hmm. I would help them, give them what they needed, and they would help me remember my connections to the stars. Mm -hmm. Or at least be the door, the opening. All right. So what have you given them? My cooperation. I feel like they, I gave them tissue or mm -hmm. eggs or something that it was something that they needed mm -hmm. want to say some kind of tissue of some sort mm -hmm. so as you continue to remember more and more of the layers of forgetfulness will begin to drop you will begin to remember the details you may see them foggy and then they will clear up Eggs. Mm -hmm. How many times have you given them eggs? I hear 12 in my head. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that they have done? Do a scan of your body and see. My attention is taken to my leg. Mm -hmm. What's going on with your leg? Where I have this thing that I cannot, I cannot even begin to say where it even came from, but it moves around in my leg. It's in my shin. So take a look and see what this is. Use your razor sharp focus now to zero in and let's find out what's on your leg almost like a tracking device of sorts mm -hmm. they're mo monitoring <clears throat> monitoring me mm -hmm. are you in agreement with this monitoring <sighs> did you agree to this i think so yeah mm -hmm. So let's find out who it is that put it in there. Do they come from any particular place? I hear Zeta. Mm -hmm. What connection do you have with Zeta? I have a parallel life mm -hmm. as a Zeta. Let's find out if you are going to be allowed to see that parallel life like for you to connect now with your higher self and see if you will be shown that parallel life. What 
do you get from this? Just that we're trying to fix our mistakes. Mm -hmm. We're trying to fix it. So we have to use our, we have to use everything that we have available to us in order to go back and, and try to fix it, mm -hmm. what we did, where we went wrong. Mm -hmm. So how does this parallel life, what does it have to do with her life here? It's helping her to remember. Okay, good. So I'd like to ask <clears throat> that this could be more and more clear to her as she begins to channel and allow these changes to take place within her own mind, body, and soul, that all of this begins to get more clear to her as time goes by to where she understands the connection she understands the contract, and she can live in peace, knowing that she's been able to help. Now let's find out about the lower back issues that she's had. What is she holding in her lower back? Hmm. A lot of issues with security and safety and also boundaries. Mm -hmm. So let's zero in and find out if this in her back is something that she created or is it something attached to her? What does this lower back discomfort represent? What comes to mind? First word that comes to mind is boundaries. Mm -hmm. So let's follow that word back. And let's find the origin. Where did this begin? Ever since she was little, she was... She allowed people to tell her what she was and what to do and who to be and because she didn't understand she didn't quite she didn't have it figured out yet mm -hmm. so she's had a she's had difficulties finding and defining those those boundaries. Mm -hmm. So why is she holding it in her lower back? Is she carrying something there? In, in the root chakra. Root. Mm -hmm. root. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what's in that root chakra. What is she holding there? Fear. Mm -hmm. Let's follow that fear. What is the fear of? Mm, being herself. Mm -hmm. She's attracted people. Uh, in her life that or situations in her life that made her scared to be herself and uh -huh. to just to be herself and so she she equated that with was she equating she equated being herself with 
it wasn't safe. Mm-hmm. So she, she eventually shut that down. Has she recreated herself in a different way for fear of not showing who she truly is? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, she, she, she used to smile at people and look, look them straight in the eye, and she, she started to um, have a very serious face mm-hmm. and very almost intimidating so that she couldn't feel the fear anymore. Uh-huh. So she's putting on a mask, isn't mm-hmm. she? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because she tells me that even she she can't even accept her gray hair. Mm-hmm. Does this have anything to do with that? Not being wanting to be herself. Partly. Not accepting yeah, herself. In part. in part. So what can we do with this fear today? We can begin to shift it. All right. So she has the power in her hands. I'd like for you to go ahead and begin working on yourself, putting your hands on your root chakra. And let's begin transforming that fear. What color is that fear? What do you see it as? A very deep red, almost black. All right. So what would you like to transform it into? Bright red. What does the bright red represent? Just the flowing energy of the root chakra. All right. So go ahead and begin using the energy in your hands and the emotion of joy. Mm -hmm. Focusing. And let's begin to change the color. Transforming that fear. What emotion can we give to transform it into? What is it that she needs? Can we use acceptance? Self acceptance? acceptance. How does that feel? That feels good. All right, so let's begin transforming that fear into self-acceptance. Connection. Mm -hmm. Keep adding all the words that's going to be going into your root chakra. Excitement. Send that energy into it. You have the power. Tell me what's happening to that root chakra now. She wasn't really able to feel energy Mm -hmm. um, in her root, but she can feel it now. Very good. So how will this exercise change the way she helps others with the energy? Keep hearing deeper, like deeper, Mm -hmm. stronger, or deeper, or she'll be able to help on a more significant level. Mm -hmm. Very good. Because one of her questions was how can she help empower her relationships, both romantic and all the others. And looking at that root chakra. What was that doing to her relationships? Severely disempowering her. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you now to see how releasing that fear from the root will help her relationships. It's going to help her really shift them now. Mm -hmm. And not be so afraid. Very good. She's capable. She knows it. Mm Mm-hmm. Very good. Now, for most of her life, she says she has felt very ungrounded. 
not wanting to be in her mm. body. What's going on there? Mm, lack of lack of understanding that people around her didn't understand, so she did not understand, and so she was just fear mm -hmm. fearful of everything, and that was also the energy frequency that she took on mm -hmm. from many generations mm -hmm. not just her mom just not just her mother it was from many generations ago does she need to be this energy vacuum mm -mm. no so where is she storing all of this misguided energy from all of her ancestors where is she holding it in her body It's the um, like the lower three chakras. Very good. So she now knows what she needs to do. Mm. So go ahead and begin now working on the first chakra. Put your hands on that chakra and allow that energy, focus energy with joy to begin releasing all of that stuff mm -hmm. that she took on that wasn't hers. And as she begins to release it, let's begin to transform it. Allowing the transformation will allow the reprogramming of her DNA. What is the focus and intention as she brings back the energy into that chakra? to be in a state of connectedness mm -hmm. with herself, with her body, with, with the people around her, mm -hmm. and to not be in fear. Very good. To find the joy, the joy in being here. <laughs> good. So let's see when she's done with that chakra to move up to the next one. And let's find out what she's holding in that chakra. Shame. Mm -hmm. Where is this shame coming from? Shame from being something other than what people thought she should be. Mm -hmm. Does she need to be ashamed of who she is? Mm -mm. So let's begin releasing it. Allow your hands to release all of that shame feel it flowing out where are you sending this shame to to the universe to source to be transmuted very good so as you create a vacuum now in that chakra we need to replace it with something beneficial. What can we put in that chakra now? acceptance and joy and love mm -hmm. very good so you use that focused attention fueled by the energy of joy to put all of that acceptance joy and let's add some love to it some self-love and tell me when that chakra has been healed. Okay. Very good. So let's now move to the other chakra. And what is happening in that chakra? What is she storing there? Hmm. I 
like disempowerment mm -hmm. and not taking full responsibility. She wants to, but she's not taking full responsibility of there's something blocking mm -hmm. blocking it. All right. Yeah. Let's go ahead and begin to release and see what we find hiding in the corner there. So what's hiding deep inside that chakra that does not want to be released? Where she doesn't want to take full responsibility? Mm, what's uh, there? Uh, like, uh, I don't know if it is misused power mm -hmm. or power over. She lets somebody be in power or misuse power, some kind of misuse power. Mm -hmm. This power that she has in there, has it been placed by someone else there? Or did she put it in there? I think it was a little bit of both. All right, so let's find out where that power is connected to. Find the source. And what's keeping her in that state? We'll put that in there. Mom. Mm -hmm. mm. What did her mom plant inside of that chakra? She had her own her own issues with her parents. Mm -hmm. She planted control. Almost like the illusion of control. You have to control everything. Mm -hmm. And so you have to have power over everything. But it's it's an illusion. It's, mm -hmm. You can't. So if your mom planted it in there, your mom has to take it back. So I'm going to count from one to three, and let's see what your mom has to say. One, two, and three. Good afternoon, Mom. Mm -hmm. How are Good you? Good afternoon. How are you? Good. Tell your daughter how you're feeling. Much different. Mm -hmm. Tell her why. On the other side, it's, it's different. Mm -hmm. There's no The illusions dissolve and there's no, there's no longer any illu illusion of, of control. There's, mm -hmm. huh, you're on the right track of releasing this. Mm -hmm. So mom, you need to go in there and pull out whatever it is that you mm -hmm. planted in your daughter. Because although you're no longer here physically, she's still carrying that seed of control, of disempowerment. Be honored to. Very good. Begin now to pull that out. Tell me when it's done. Don't leave anything in there. <sighs> tell me when it's done. Yeah. Very good. Now, Mom, what would you like to tell your daughter? What message do you have for her today? Hmm. That she's perfectly capable of... of of everything in this life and what I told her while I was in this human incarnation mm -hmm. I was I was acting for my own hurts and my own wounds and I 
I was wrong to tell her that. Mm -hmm. Would you like for her to forgive you? That would be nice. All right, take a deep breath in. Angelica, connect with your mom. Can you forgive her of for course. all of the things that she did that yes. she didn't know any better? Yes, of course. All right. So I'd like for you to give me all of that. I'd like you to pull all of that out and give it to me. You don't need it any longer. All those things that your mom told you that you believe were true. All of those things that she told you because she didn't know. She was desperate. She was trying her best to be the best mom, but she didn't know. She had a bad role model. Oh. Very good. Tell me when I have it all. Yeah. Let's take it and send it to the universe. Now what would you like to put in its place? True empowerment and love. All right, feel that empowerment going in. Allow it going through as it beats through your heart. Feel all of that yeah. going through you. And I'm going to tap your forehead and seal that in. What would you like to tell your mom? That I understand. Mm -hmm. I understood a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I was just holding on to it because I didn't I didn't know how to release it mm -hmm. myself, so I've been working on it. Mm -hmm. And that I absolutely love her, and I, I thank you so much for being the person that you have been in this life because it's happened it's helped me it's helped me actually step into my empowerment a lot a lot more profoundly very good take a deep breath in mom what do you have to say back <sighs> she she always was so much wiser than i gave her credit for mm -hmm. i love her so much very good so I'd like for you both to give each other a hug. Mm -hmm. Feel that hug. Mm -hmm. And now let's disconnect from Mom. May the light of the universe mm -hmm. always accompany you. Let's send her lots of love and light. And now take a look at that chakra and tell me how that chakra looks. Looks a lot clearer, a lot more golden, mm -hmm. a lot brighter. Mm -hmm. Feels good too. Very good. Very good. So, what would we like to put into that chakra? Completely filling it to the brim with something that you can use. self-empowerment all right so allow yourself now to fill that space and tell me when you're done okay I'm done very good so let's do a scan of the body and see if there's anything else that she needs to work on today how does that body look now? She's asking about her diet, aligning herself, becoming more grounded. What's blocking her? Have we taken care of these things today? Things are flowing a lot better now. Very good. So when she thinks about her diet, what does she need to know? To keep working, to, just to keep uh, doing the work that she's doing because she's doing a good job. Mm -hmm. and she's following what she knows um, in her intuition that she needs to work on. And as these come into as she heals more and more, everything will just fall into place, basically. Very good. Very good. Now, she's currently reading a channeled book 
called Earth, Pleiadians Keys, Living Library, and it talks about activating the stored library of information within all of nature. How can she begin to access the information and learn what it is that it has to teach us? She needs to sit down with nature more. Okay. And actually listen. All right. So she knows she already has that mm -hmm. power? Yes, she does. Good, mm -hmm. good. And she is curious about why her, t her turned gray. What was the purpose for that? She wasn't on the path that she was, she wasn't on her path, basically. She was, she was in a job that she convinced herself she liked, mm -hmm. and in a life that she thought that was her, but it wasn't, mm. it wasn't her, and so she was contracting contracting the the energy the energy was blocked mm -hmm. it wasn't flowing so it was old people energy it was old people energy so how can we <laughs> reactivate the youth that she has will she be able to use her own power her own focused energy with joy she is on that path now all right good is there anything that I could have asked that I didn't that you would like to tell her now? She knows just to keep following her intuition. Mm -hmm. She doesn't always understand it, but it's not supposed to be like that. Mm -hmm. um, she she is learning how to trust in her own abilities so she needs to learn how to trust in her intuition she's learning how to trust so she just needs to keep following it and keep let it allow it to guide her where she needs to go very good and what is the reason you brought her here to this session today To give her, <clears throat> to give her even more permission to release all of this, these things that have been keeping her from shining her light as as, as radiantly as she knows that she can. Very good. She's. It's, it was basically for permission. Mm -hmm. Good. And who is guiding her now? So many of us, mm -hmm. but her higher self is good. Always good. Very, very good. I'd like to thank the higher self. Is there anything else that you would like to say to Anjaka, or are we complete today with this session? We are complete. Very good. Welcome back. <laughs> wow, you did a lot today. Let's switch those stones up. Let's give you some shungite here so that you can you can ground yourself <laughs> and get you back to the earth. So how do you feel? Good. Yeah? I feel good. What do you remember? I, feel, I remember everything. I was yeah. completely there. Mm -hmm. And uh, how long do you think this journey was? How did it feel to you? About 40 minutes. Mm. Yeah. 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 Pretty close. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Two hours and six minutes. No way. No way. Really? What? <laughs> no way. <laughs> okay. Wow. No, it doesn't feel like that at all. Right? It's like, that's really, really meh. Like 40 minutes. Two hours. Wow. Amazing, huh? Jeepus. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. That's crazy. So you did quite a bit of journeying here, a lot of, uh, wow. can, does it make sense? 
Yeah, yeah. You were holding a lot, not from this lifetime, but oh, for, yeah. for those two lifetimes. It seemed to, it seemed to all connect to... To this. Mm -hmm. You came here for this purpose. Yeah, It's I like did. you're here to redeem yourself. Yeah, kind of like, it does feel like that. Right? Like I was... Like I'm coming back things. here, I'm going to do this this time. Yeah. But the whole time you were saying, I don't think I can. Mm. I don't think I could do this, but you can. Yeah. I mean, that's really the reason why you're here, right? Yeah. Makes sense? <laughs> it does make sense. So does that make you now want to stay and finally mm. use your power oh, yeah. for the right thing? Of course. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Definitely. So you want to keep this private? I want to share this session. Um, if you f if you feel like it, no, it's up can to help. you. It's um, you. Do you I, feel, I, are you ready to put yourself yeah, out there? Yeah, I don't, I don't care. I don't mind that at all. Okay. Yeah. You can go through there and take out any parts that are personal yeah. or that you feel uncomfortable with. Okay. Yeah, of course. And then, yeah, wonderful. Yeah, you did great. That was awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> How did it go? Good. Yeah? Yeah. I was thinking like, oh, this is not going much of anywhere. <laughs> but then it was kind of like, it started connecting. I was yeah. like, wow, okay, things are connecting. So at the beginning, it was a little bit slow. Yeah, it is, yeah. And then you, you really got momentum. Yeah, do you feel, you, uh, yeah, I guess right? so, yeah. Yeah. It did feel like it started connecting to, to everything else. And I was like, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. This makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was amazing, and you thought it was forty minutes, and it was two hours. Yeah, like forty minutes. What? <laughs> two hours? What? So, did you feel you were hypnotized? No. no, no so, no. what do you what did I, you feel? I feel like I was just right there, and just like things are coming just to flowing. my head. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. you were hearing words. Yeah, it was more. Yeah, it wasn't really. I'm not such a visual person. Yes. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes I can be, but um, I'm more like words things coming into my head like telepathically right yeah that's because everybody has a different way mm -hmm. of picking stuff up some people see it some people feel it and you were actually hearing the words yeah yeah it's or were you words. seeing the words it was more just hearing the hearing words, the words. Yeah. yeah so you mm -hmm. you actually did like a you were piecing everything together by the yeah. words you were hearing yeah wow mm -hmm. so have you ever been hypnotized before no i haven't so was it easy no. It was. It was. It was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. There you go. So tell everybody what it felt like. Um, it was. It didn't feel like I was hypnotized at all. It felt like <laughs> I was just. I was just there and flowing answers. It's natural. Um, it's yeah. a natural state. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. But what we do beforehand is we do some exercises so that someone, you know, everybody understands what a trance is. And once you are in that trance, then boom, you're there. Yeah. Boy, was I. Yeah. Good. But it doesn't feel like it. Yeah. It's no. Crazy. Yeah. So what do you think this will change in your life now, this session? I feel like it'll shift a lot of different things for me mm -hmm. and allow me to go out into the world and really start being myself. And yeah. And being empowered because mm -hmm. what is it that you do? Um, I'm supposed to be an, I'm supposed to be an energy healer. The, energy worker and I, I kept seeing myself in that one life I kept seeing myself do it doing this yeah and I, I seen a moon right here yeah oh, so you have crazy. to focus on that mm -hmm. the whole yeah. thing was about that and yes. um, and we got to connect with your mom yes that was yes. awesome that was awesome now tell everybody what happened with your mom oh uh, my mom just just passed this past Sunday so mm -hmm. it's it was pretty it was pretty awesome that she just kind of appeared and she was we brought her in. I was like, oh, that's unexpected, but kind of not unexpected. So it's been six days. Yes, six days. Only six days since her mom passed, and yes. she's already seeing things from a different perspective. Mm. Did it feel good to connect? Yes, it did. Yeah, it, it kind of gave you closure there, right? Yeah, yeah. Give and I haven't felt so heavy yeah. as sometimes some of us can feel, yes. but um, that definitely felt really good to like, you like, she understood what I was trying to tell her. Yes. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. So do you recommend this to other people? I do, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. So if you would like a session with me, you can go to my website, albawyman.com, sign up for my newsletter. It comes out about once a month. And if you're in the area, sign up and uh, I put out there where I'm going to be. Now, right now, we are in beautiful Denver. Look at mm -hmm. this place. It's a beautiful time of year. Um, it's a beautiful place where I'm staying in right now. Mm -hmm. And are you from Denver too? Yeah. 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 So 
this is what happens, you know, when I come to a place, if you're close by, it's really great. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this session. I certainly did. Uh, my voice has been a little rough here today, but <laughs> that's what I've been eating today. <clears throat> it kind of uh, comes out. But, uh, you know, I really enjoyed it. It was really nice. We got to see a few things that uh, are not normally seen in the session, and I hope you got something out of it, too. Thank you for watching. Till the next time. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank mm -hmm. you so much. Oh, you're welcome. It's wonderful.